Wild Jaggers Niche is bringing European hunters to the USA and taking American hunters to Europe. Our super niche is bow hunting. A lot of European bow hunters consider the whitetail the ultimate game to bow hunt. This is Per Christensen's journey toward that goal. My name is Ricky Mills, a retired Special Forces officer and the host of Wild Jaeger Outdoor TV. As a Green Beret, my job was to infiltrate into foreign countries by land, sea, or air, using my language skills and cultural sensitivity to accomplish the mission, whatever it may be. As a global hunter, I'm inviting you to follow me my team of international hunters as we travel the globe on a quest to hunt every country and every huntable game species. This is Wild Jaeger. Hi folks, Ricky Mills here with Wild Jaeger Outdoor TV and this week we have a very special guest, my wife, Mina Mills. Hi everyone. So specifically this episode is about Sweden, hunting in Sweden and specifically Per Christensen. Per Christensen is one of our Older pro staff has been on the team since around 2016, and he was actually our pro staff of the year in 2017, awarded an all expenses paid whitetail hunt trip to America in 2018, where he came and stayed and lived with Mina and I. You remember that? Yeah, so it was a lot of fun taking him around Syracuse and showing him different things being here in America since it was his first time. My name is Per Christensen and I represent Wild Jäger and our partner companies in Sweden. So one of the reasons that Mina and I would end up going through Sweden because we were on our way to the Åland Islands when we were bow hunting with Roger Peterson. Åland Islands belong to Finland but we would have to go from Germany up through Denmark, through Sweden, cross over the large bridge into Stockholm and then go north, northeast from there get on a ferry and then cross over to the Island Islands where we would be hunting, staying in a cabin up there. It was a pretty, pretty amazing experience, wasn't it? It was, especially because we were so close to the water, so it was pretty awesome. When you get up in the Scandinavian area, Scandinavia specifically being Norway, Denmark, Sweden, Finland, uh, there's a lot of water, a lot of islands, a lot of coastline, so you're always somewhere near water or islands and fishing and the culture up there is just amazing when you think about the fact that you know the real vikings in the world came from uh, Scandinavia whether it was Finland, Denmark, Sweden or Norway at one point in time they were using ships to get around raiding parties uh, specifically to fish and feed themselves but which turned into a lot of you see the the show vikings on TV excursions where would they, they would take their ships and sort of raid other countries. But for us, it was, it was a special trip to head up there through Sweden. I've been hunting all my life. As a kid, my father and grandfather took me hunting, and I've been hunting ever since. So the first year I met Per Christensen, it was 2017, we had linked into a partner company that wanted to break into Scandinavia, and we needed to fill that slot for Sweden. And naturally, that's how I met Per Christensen, through social media and he fell right on the team. We clicked, and he's been on the team ever since. Again, he was our 2017 Pro Staff of the Year. Since we drove up to uh, Denmark and we conducted that bow hunt up there, Per came in, we shot the video for our partner company, but we also spent about a week together just uh, interacting with each other, shooting video, hunting, and uh, really experiencing some of that culture and tradition that Denmark has to share. This episode of Wild Jaeger Outdoor TV is brought to you by Box Pro, high performance game call, proudly made in the USA. Top Rack, the best European mount hanger available. I love all veterans, the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, the Marines, the Coast Guard, and then now Space Force. Because of my injuries, my accident, my status as a disabled veteran, we are able to positively advise soldiers that have physical and mental injuries. They're in those middle stages of like, I'm hurt, I'm injured. 
my body is not gonna be what it was before. Oh, <laughs> bow, perfect. <laughs> the wounded warrior effort of taking soldiers back out and getting them in the field, getting them hunting, returning them to their roots, and returning them to something that internally is a comfortable place mm -hmm. so that they can forget for even just a short period of time and move on a little bit and spend time, some fellowship and some camaraderie with other people that share the same interests. That's awesome. What you got, Chef? <laughs> Congratulations, Chef. Thank you, Rick. It's been Thank a you. pleasure to be out here, Hunter. Yes. That's the big question that I get a lot of times. There's so many veteran support organizations. Hey, Rick, you're a retired Army guy. Give me an example of one that you think is a good veteran support organization. And well, they, Jagger Veteran Adventures. And uh, we created one. We went out and we built our own. So if you're wondering where you can go to find out information about how you can give to support Wild Jagger Veteran Adventures, you can go to our website at www.wildjagger.com and then look for the Wild Jagger Veteran Adventures page. When you scroll to the bottom, there's a donate button there. You can volunteer your land for access for hunting. You can volunteer game on your land. Volunteering your lodge or your cabin for space for veterans to come in and stay in. Feel free to call me or call, call John anytime to talk about what you'd like to do to help us get veterans in the outdoors and get them out on a Wild Jagger veteran adventure. Let's head over to Denmark where I would meet Per Christensen for the first time. There you go. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you. Very nice to meet you. Welcome. Welcome. This is crazy. Look at this. This is almost well, too much. Oh, welcome to our cave. <laughs> <laughs> Holy this cow. Is nice, brother. That's a nice place. Folks, I had no clue we were going to get treated like this. We just got to Denmark. Look at this. You're... Look at this. And this oh, yeah. particular snaps is my favorite, yeah, so it and it is from uh, one of the areas where we're going to hunt. There's some small, small bushes. Then she goes up, pick the nuts off in the springtime or late winter, March, start April. Mm -hmm. She picks them off, leaves them there for a year, and put with some ligand, distillate it, let it be, put a bit of honey, a bit of stuff, and then she makes this. And this is something called a Porsche snaps. And you'll see the, I'll show you the plants when we go out hunting this area. Okay. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. And Cheers. congratulations, Cheers. Cheers. Uh, Cheers. Cheers. Uh, Cheers. 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 I'm proud of you. Thanks. Cheers. Stay with me right on it. Cool. Yeah. Cheers, buddy. Yeah. Cheers, Osmos. Cheers. 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 Cool. Cheers. Yeah, yeah, we can Cheers. do two. All right. Yeah. Cool, man. And Not hopefully, really like it. it'll be you next time. Congrats, and then. Mm. Now my team is one behind. Good. I love this. Yes. So here we are, folks. Day one, evening one. We got Pear here on the left. We got Stin on the right. Stin's our he's our guide this afternoon. So once again, it's opening opening day in Denmark, 16 May, 2017. This is what happens when you don't have enough videographers on your hunt and you have to give a camera to a, one of the guides. The tradition of horn blowing is Europe wide. And here we are in Denmark, experience some of their hospitality, tradition, and culture. We'd like to thank Thomas Moisberg for hosting us on our Denmark rifle and bow hunt. What an adventure.
We have so much video of Per Christensen. He's one of our top guys on the team. He's participating. Just outstanding. Great photographer, great videographer. When we need something, he's out there. He receives pro gear, takes it to the field, and he does the best job that he can with it. In 2018, uh, Per Christensen was awarded that all expenses paid trip to New York, and he did come stay with me and Anna. Do you remember that? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. He's, he's quite the character with that long red beard. <laughs> and uh, if you don't know it, Per's actually a chef. So he's actually has an education to be a chef, and he taught, he definitely, I learned a lot about meat, handling meat, not washing it with water, and different things like that, but we went back and forth on cooking, the cooking duties, when we, were, we stayed in the cabin while we were there. Yeah, for a part of the time. What we're going to do now is we're going to show you the video of Purr's whitetail hunt here in the state of New York. Alright folks, Rick Mills here, it is 7 November. We just got off the plane last night. We are running around like chickens with our heads cut off. Per Christensen is getting ready to get in the tree stand. We just left Dick's Sporting Goods in the U.S. Mina, hot driver. Ricky Mills, camera. Per, hunter. We're on the way to the tree stand. Mina's gonna drop us off. We're gonna go get, we're gonna hunt in my brother's airport. And uh, we're gonna see, it's really just kind of a confidence target. Get out there, get in the tree stand get our feet wet in the woods of upstate New York. So the next time you see us, we'll be either walking to or getting ready to go to the tree stand. You ready? Oh yeah. All right, we're headed to the tree stand. Let's get her done. What you have to remember now is that we just flew 3,000 miles from Europe to the United States. We didn't really expect much of anything, and the deer just came out of nowhere. This is mid-November, and the rut is full on. This is definitely not what Per expected to happen on day one. And buck fever hits Per hard. You have to remember, this is Purr's first whitetail in the wild. So I was a little worried when this little four point came in. Things change pretty fast. This was obviously the day to be in the stand. We have the deer exactly where we want them. We're surrounded by them.
All right, folks. Day two morning. We were in the tree stand last night. We saw some bucks. What do oh, you yeah. think? Oh yeah. That was we crazy. Had four or five different bucks. And yeah. one Folks, we're getting up at four o'clock, drinking coffee, and uh, you know, knocking out daily vigil type stuff, and then uh, getting dressed. It's 5:40. We're headed up to link up with my brother Kirk in the truck in the tree stand, probably in the next 20 minutes. So day two, New York whitetail hunting. We're bow hunting with Per Christensen from Sweden. Love it, man. We saw some bucks oh, yesterday. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. When you see that many deer. Yeah, it's just ridiculous. Yeah. Okay. See you in the woods. Again, folks, the rut is full on. And it doesn't take much to get the bucks up and moving. To most Americans, this is just a little guy. To Purr, this is a dream come true. Now I'm pretty sure Purr's getting a little taste of what we call buck fever, if not whitetail buck fever. This episode of Wild Jaeger Outdoor TV is brought to you by Box Pro High Performance Game Call, proudly made in the USA. Top Rack, the best European mile hanger available. Burge just shot his first buck. Oh, See him? Go get him. He's a little seven. Yeah. Drag him out here. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Ja, helt otroligt. Min första min första vitsvansjut med båge dessutom. Ja, fattar det knappt än. Åh, oh, helt skakis. Åh <laughs> oh, yeah.
Oh, look at the size of this thing, man. This is no oh, yeah. road deer land. Oh, no. <laughs> this is not a road deer, folks. We're in New York, deer. New York State, United States of America, obviously, and we're hunting whitetails, and these things are big. These things are no joke big. He's got a nice little little seven point and uh, huge body, huge body. Oh, yeah. small. Wow. Buck down, buddy. Oh, yeah. Sweden. Bow hunting in New York, USA. First arrow <laughs> downrange. Oh yeah. And you snacked him. This deer went 40, 50 meters. Yeah. And he was tripping the whole way. Yeah. He... I mean, we watched him go down. Oh yeah. From oh, the yeah. tree stand, so. It went straight down. He was running down this hill. I saw his tail, didn't see what it was. I saw a buck. And he... I, I saw him running, in, running into this brush here. And I didn't see him run out. And a couple of hours later, yeah, he stepped out. Awesome, man. Oh, yeah. Folks, we got it out of the woods on our way home. Outstanding. That's <laughs> when the work begins. Yeah. Folks, if you're in Europe, you're European, you want to go whitetail hunting, get a hold of me, Ricky Mills at Wild Jaeger. We'll get you here to New York, or we can take you down to Maryland. And uh, we can make this dream bow hunt happen for you. Yeah, Ricky Mills. The second day. <laughs> second day, a, man. Yeah. Not a lot of time in the stands. How many bucks have we seen in two days? Oh, uh, we've seen at least six. Six different bucks yeah. in two days. And one of them was just yeah, it was huge. huge. Minimum yeah. like a 130, 140 class buck. So what do you think about Per's first hunt? For whitetail? I think he was really excited because it, with the difference in size from a roe deer to a whitetail, it was something, you know, special for him, but also very unique. And I know that he wants to come back to the States definitely to hunt again. That was actually Per's first bow hunt. It's his first animal harvested with a bow, and he did it right here yeah. in New York. <laughs> I did. Not only was it my first time in the U.S., it was my first time bow hunting. It was a great experience and I will definitely do it again. So we're going to close this video out right here with the end of Purr's whitetail hunt. We hope you enjoyed that. It's always fun to bring Europeans over to America and get them to experience uh, some of the hosting, the tradition and the culture, the food of North America. And uh, we're going to pick it right back up next week with Purr hunting some roe deer, some wild boar, and right on to our main moose hunt with Purr Christensen in Sweden.